This video is for educational and entertainment use only. The views in this video do not necessarily represent the views or life of Marlon. Right, Duff to sit down, and once again, we're back. We're still talking about the uh, the new COVID strains that you know I didn't know about the last one. I ended up just calling it the UK, although it's not UK, even though it's found in France. But I didn't know anything about the Alpha, and a lot of people didn't know anything about the Alpha. So I'm gonna make this video about the Alpha variant that kind of like escaped through the media that we didn't know. So. Let me go ahead and share my screen so you guys can see what we're going to be talking about today. Here we go, right here. Move me down. There we go. Bam, right there. December 28th, 2021 just came out literally a week ago. COVID caught a body about a week ago. week ago. What? So for real, for real, though. But uh, December 28th, 2021, alpha coronavirus variant evolved to evade immune system. Your immune system is inside your body. And what it does is it seeks out and destroys foreign things inside your body that's not supposed to do that. So that's what kills the sickness. But if this variant is evolved to evade that, it's super sneaky. So it's in your body and your immune system don't even know that it's in there. So it's laying dormant until when it wants to attack. So that, that's why this one in the uh, media, I really need to talk about this. So Alpha, Delta, and Omicron contains mutations in the same RNA regions. Uh, the Alpha variant of SARS-CoV-2, the first variant of concern, evolved mutations that allowed it to more efficiently suppress the immune system's early response to infection. According to a new study led by scientists at the UC San Francisco's Quantum Biosciences Institute, QBI, and University of College London. So this over here, it's over there in London, it's over here in San Francisco, over there, like, so it's, it's in Cali, it's in London. Why, why, why wasn't everybody notified of this or why wasn't it blasted like the Delta and the Omicron? I don't know, but it's, this is more serious because it's, it has it, it, evolved to sufficiently, efficiently suppress the immune system early response to infection. So you don't even know what you got it. The research have discovered that the variant has ramped up production of a protein that it uses to stifle infected cells, immune stimulating signals. The mutation responsible for the change likely helped the alpha variant evade immune detection and accelerates its transmission. And importantly, similar mutations exist in Omicron. The finds are reported in the December 23rd issue of Nature. See, we, ha we have to understand that if we want to be aware of stuff, we have to do a lot of reading. Like, so for those that don't want to read, keep coming to this channel because I'm going, I, I read and I research. So I'm going to give you everything that I research so you can see what I'm doing. And I'm going to go over my research with you and give you my thoughts. So you have to understand that this variant is evolving. This is also parts of it is similar to the mutation in Omicron. So what Omicron can also, you know, sit and stifle and then wait for attack. And then now you... Oh, I ain't got no symptoms. And then next thing you know, one day you just super sick. Like, it's, it's, it's crazy. The team led by senior authors, the Van Krogan, PhD of UCSF, and Claire Jolly and Greg Towers, PhD of University College London, found that Alpha's enhanced infectivity arose from mutations outside of Spike, the proteins that have attracted much of scientists' attention since the start of the pandemic. Spike, which the virus uses to enter the cells of its host, is critical to infection as the target of all available COVID-19 vaccines, but it is just one of many tools that the virus uses to manipulate its host. Uh, one movie that's a kid movie that I don't know if people might, uh, what is it called? Osmosis Jones. Please, 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 please go get that movie. Find a movie, Osmosis Jones, so you can see exactly how infections enter your body and what they do. That movie shows it in a cartoon kid movie, but it, it really teaches you exactly what this is. Trust me, I've seen it several times. While scientists have closely monitored mutations in the spike region of new variants, Omicron has over 30, 30. Krogan emphasized that changes in other regions might also have important impact. The mutations in spike allow the virus to get into cells more effectively. So the mutations in the spike, so now look, it's, it's mutate. So with it mutating the way that it's mutate, it's getting into your cells faster, quicker, and is they getting us they getting us so fast that you ain't even got uh, no defense. Now let me break it down for those in the hood. 
you got the ops dropping off their cousins that you do not know on the block. Now, you don't know these people, so you think they some new people that's just out there in the hood, but in reality, no, these the ops cousins. So you got your guard down and you ain't looking to attack them when in reality, they just walk up past getting you used to seeing them. And then when you get used to seeing them one day when it's that day, now they start attacking and you not knowing because you think, oh man, I just thought that was a new dude. That's what this is. But what about after the virus gets into the cells? There may be other mutations that allow it to replicate more, said Krogan, who also leads UCSF as QBI and the Coronavirus Research Group. Like, you got to really understand the stuff. The mutations allow it to replicate more. Osmosis Jones. Osmosis Jones. Please go watch that. After it was first detected in the United Kingdom in late 2020, Alpha spread rapidly around the world, suggesting it was significantly more trans transmissible than the original virus. So now... The alpha came in late 2020. So that's like early 2021. I, I, I haven't heard anything about the alpha. Maybe because it was over there in Europe. That's why we didn't hear about it over here in, in America. But they're saying it rapidly around the world. So maybe the cases wasn't so strong over here in America. Maybe that's why we didn't hear about it. But it's kind of like crazy that they kind of skipped that. But experiments in Towers Labs indicated that the new variant replicated no faster than its predecessor. Seeking an explanation, the QCRG set out to learn if the new variant interacted differently with the cells it infected. The team, which also includes researchers at the MIT, uh -oh, MIT uh -oh, European Molecular Biology Laboratory and the Eichen School of Medicine at Mount Sinai, compared the variant's impact on host cells to that of various a virus isolated early in the pandemic. To do so, postdoctoral scholar Madi Bojaro, PhD, QBI senior scientist Lorenzo Zolani Alvarez, PhD, both co-led authors on the study, measure the activity of each gene and monitor protein levels in lab-grown cells infected by the virus. So they do a lot of this stem cell research and a lot of these lab-grown uh, cells to where they want to see how the virus attacks the cells. So they do this in the lab under the microscope for them to see like this is how it would attack the body. But because they don't have an actual host that they can actually look at, they, they just basically like hy hy hypothetically saying that this is what happened in, in the humans. But a lot of times they, they'd be right, be honest with you. They also surveyed the phosphor, phosphor that word, status of the proteins, an analysis that detects chemical modifications that can temporarily adjust proteins function. Using this data to compare the response to infection with alpha and original virus, the researchers found that many of the significant differences involved the innate immune response, the body's first line of defense against pathogens. Many of the genes involved in rallying this defense were barely activated in the presence of the SARS-CoV alpha variant. Oh my God. The ops is on the block and ain't nobody strapped. Nobody strapped. In addition, the team discovered that the alpha infected cells contain large amounts of three viral proteins known to help the virus evade the body's immune response. So this is a this is a virus that's that's in you, and, and your your body don't even know that it's in you. Like your body allowing it to chill, your body hanging out, chilling with it, like chilling, like boy. Further experiments showed that one of them called orf 9 b accomplishes that task by latching on to a protein that switches on to stimulate. Oh my God. So if it latched to a if the if it latched to a protein that switch on the immune stimulate genes, that means it attached to the the general. It, it attached to the general of the arm. Hey yeah bro you no know, no man no no let them stay over there. Let me go and holler at you over here real quick. Now it attached to them they having a good time over here. He ain't even telling the army that they need to start attacking. So now they're getting attacked and don't even know where it's coming from. The findings suggest it may be possible to help the immune system fight SARS-CoV-2 by developing drugs that block this interaction and offer a potential strategy for doing so. They got the vaccine. Now they got, then they got drugs going to get ready to come out. And people already off enough drugs, but more drugs for people. Alpha has since been outpaced by newer variants whose mutations spur even more aggressive transmission. The virus will keep evolving and adapting to the host, and every time it will adapt better and better. This is what you guys got to really truly understand. It's going, it's going to adapt to this host. When they go to a different host, it's going to mutate 
and adapt to that host, which is gonna make it stronger and stronger and stronger. Think of AI, it adapts and learns and relearns, adapts, learns and relearns, which makes it smarter and more sophisticated and complicated. That's what's going on with these viruses. Both the Delta and the Omicron appear to be cousins of the Alpha, <laughs> each having mutations in two of the three regions the team studies, suggesting they may have similar effects on the innate immune system. The findings demonstrate the value of understanding the full scope of changes shaping the behavior of viral variants. Studying the variants of concern gives us ideas about how the SARS-CoV-2 evolves. Now we have a sense of the proteins that are mutating most frequently and the biological consequence of those mutations. I think this helps us prepare for what might come next. Oh, my God. They already know it's coming. They already know it's coming. They already know what's coming. They know what's coming next because if it's, if it's evolving and as it's evolving, it's evading your defense system. If it's, the, if it's evading your defense system, you can't defend against it. Once it attacks and then is replicating rapid. So now it, the op then filled the whole, the ops filled the whole block with their cousins. And you didn't got so cool with the cousins that you ain't even worried about the cousins. And to the ops say, get them. Now all the cousins, you get who? Now all the cousins start getting everybody. Now the body instantly goes sick, immediately. Like now, now you can't build up the defense because it's hitting all your hitters. The virus is hitting your hitters. You, you can't fight if all your hitters hit. Th think about the streets, think about war. In war, whoever's the most dangerous person, that's who people go after. Why? Because they study hitting us. They hitting us. Everybody ain't hitting us. They 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 shoot, but they ain't hitting. This person is hitting, and they taking people out. So we gotta go get them. The virus is hitting your hitters, and you ain't even got a chance when they hitting your hitters. You gotta understand that. This that's all I gotta say for this video. I like I said, I don't have any books on this because that's not my knowledge. I I, I understand it, but I, I didn't go that far into it to research and write a book on it. My books about psychology, criminal justice, and the law, stuff like that in the body but this this is this is something new I, I didn't study this stuff but i'm studying it now with you guys so like share subscribe leave a comment below let me know what you think about the alpha let me know what you think about what's to come let me know what you think about it evading the immune system let me know what you think about us not really hearing about this over here in america like because i i this, this is my first time bumping into this literally i just found this article probably like a week ago when it came out but i didn't know about it this whole time and it's been around since 2020 so i find that interesting but like I said, like, hit me up. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, that's all I got to say for this video. Hit you guys up. Finna get ready to see the next video. Where we're going to get ready to go over the Chicago uh, school system that's getting ready to, uh, that they closed today. But I just, I had to creep something else in here real quick for y'all, just in case y'all came from the first video. You see this right here? Look at what they're doing to us on YouTube. I'm going to throw an extra video in there for y'all. It's going to be real saucy. So that's all I got to say for this video. Duh. This video is for educational and entertainment use only the views in this video do not necessarily represent the views or life of marlon dixon